Alright YouTube, me and old Budley have destroyed a couple soldering kits, so we feel like we need to get uh, familiar with the old breadboard. Can you see this here? I can't mm. really see the monitor, that look good. Look good. Mm. And then down here is the starter kit that we got. Um, there's our breadboard. We're just building a simple circuit. We're going to put it, put together an FM transmitter. The little microphone that we got. Uh, we figured before we destroyed them, we're going to start at ground level, right? Mm hmm So what we got? We, we did it successfully before, and we're learning about the breadboard. So what do we do, Budley? You... Well, first you read off that, but you put the red one. Push the red lead of your battery clip into the red vertical track on the left. Can you do that? I can't do, I'll do that. Alright, push the black lead in the vertical track on the left. Alright, take a 470 ohm resistor, and that's, that's a cool diagram that you got right there. Is that in focus? Mm, yeah. Yeah. So, see that's zero. Black is zero. One is brown. I love this kind of stuff to where you learn the principles behind it rather than them just saying grab the yellow, violet, and black or whatever, brown. But this, they're telling you, you know, zero, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way down. I hope that's coming through. It's your put it up closer. Put it up closer. Here, why don't you hold it? Get a good shot of it. So they can pause it and check it out. But that's a good little diagram to have so you can learn the actual actual purposes behind it. Alright? So we go back to the destructions. Okay, we got the red in, we got the black in. And we take a 470 ohm resistor. So looking at that, 470 ohm is yellow, violet, and, and what, brown? Mm -hmm. That says 10. I don't understand that part. If you guys understand, explain that to me in the comments. Is down on the on the third band of the ring it's 0 0.01 for silver and then gold is 0.1 and uh, black is 1 brown is 10 red is a hundred orange is a 1k 1,000 10 yellow is 10k 10,000 green is a hundred thousand blue is one million or one M what is M it's millennia that's a thousand hell I don't know 10 M is violet what's M and what's K write it down in the comments if you know uh, but anyways let's get back to it all right so we take a 470 ohm resistor is that 470 ohm that looks like 470 ohm is that it's blurry blurry <laughs> Hold it up there and make it, make it shine. Mm -hmm. Does that work? No, it's not coming through. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. Trust us, right? <laughs> we got it figured out now. So we take, what does it say? Put one side into the blue track, the other side into A4. So we go into the blue here. A4. And then we try not to bend the hell out of it when we do it. Alright, so, so then, what do we do here? Take the LED, put one leg into the red track and the other into A8. So we go here. See the way I put that in there? That's ugly. That's how we roll, huh, Joe? <laughs> Alright, you wanna do 
then now and next cut the short length of wire we got we cheated and I bought jumper cables <laughs> so we ain't having to do all that where does it go into there Budley it goes into each side that um the E4 yeah E4 and a well E8, e, e8 yeah. Failure. Damn. Good thing we're not soldering. <laughs> what would we do? This happened once. Yeah, it we happened were... once before. We did it over again. Yeah, the best thing to do is just start and get it over with. I don't know what the heck we did. Impatience, probably. <laughs> Pressure performing in front of people. This monkey act. If we can't get this down, you know the... There's a good reason for us not to be soldering stuff yet. So we go into the red, into there. I want this one into A4, we'll put that. And there it goes into the blue. And there it goes into A4. I don't feel like it's going in. Yeah. Poor resistor never had a chance. Okay, now we want to go this one into the reds. Red and into A8. And now we're supposed to go into E8. There we go. We got it. We must have missed something someplace or something. You're off just a little bit. The one thing we've noticed with this is that all of these holes here are connected this way. Explain right? further because I can't really see it. Huh? All A through E holes are good on that line to the bottom of the LED light. So you're making a connection with the number. These are numbered down, up down here all the way from 1 all the way down to 30. So this red, now if we take the red and put that way down here, it works too. So all these reds are connected, and that way we're not destroying uh, valuable soldering kits. So we can put them together here, make sure we're understanding the principles. So see how that, all that, the whole thing works on the red down here. So this is one, anything you connect into that red line is connected if you take the ground and you ground it out anywhere in there that's a good ground that completes the circuit I don't know can it go can both of these go all the way down there I don't know try it that's what it's all about homeboy Let's see what happens think it'll work mm, probably not or probably don't get your wires crossed Yep, it works. It works. It's pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. So we're learning, huh? So I wonder if we move this all the way down to here, it'll work. What do you think? Probably. Let's see. We you probably have to extend this. It's not working. Probably because you have to take this and put it down. Oh. Yeah. I think you're something special, <laughs> don't you? This has to connect, this connects with this, and this connects with that, and then connects with that. Yeah? You think so, huh? Mm-hmm. think you're pretty smart, huh? Well, what else can we do? We can remove that one. Wait, but we all know that it's going to work if Why anything not? else. Try it. Make it work. What can you do? Where can you go? So we're making a basic, simple circuit, right? So a circuit, to me, sounds like the word circle. 
right? Mm -hmm. So we got to complete, make a complete circle out of it. So if we start the circle at the battery and we follow the red, red comes down into this red, and then it comes over to this one. This one's in the red. So the circle goes up here and down into there, and then it hits that jumper because those are connected across that way, right? These make connections all the way across this way. We already figured out that this side does not connect to this side at all, does it? Mm-hmm. Maybe. No, I don't think it does at all. So that's basically, so you can, I guess you can have a circuit over here and a circuit over here and then combine the two circuits. Maybe. I don't know. Why do they make them on there like that? But, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so that circle continues down here and it's making a connection with this comes over here and it makes a connection with the resistor and it comes over into the blue right here which this is all connected and it comes back up here and then we made the complete circle right so if you're thinking about it as a circle you ever heard the term short yeah <laughs> if you short out a circuit Mm -hmm. Short circuit, what's it do? Uh, it doesn't get, it doesn't work because it doesn't go connect together. Somehow you've, you've shortened, shortened the current flow or short, shortened the circuit from what I understand, which is very limited. But, uh, if you were to put something into the, say, like this line, and then, uh, and the circuit only goes from the battery to the light and then a short happens here and you ground it out then that makes it short and it doesn't get to go through that resistor and doesn't make the full full on uh, deal anyway there's the uh, schematic what is that is that the battery mm -hmm. I don't really understand schematics, but I think this is the battery because over here it's got 9 volt next to those types of things, so this is the power. That looks like a resistor. Not sure. Huh? Come down a little bit. Oh. Is that better? Too far. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> so that's the battery. That looks like a resistor. That must be the light. Huh? So this is kind of like a switch, if you think about it, like a light switch, you know, on the wall. Because yeah. when you when you flip that light switch, it it, actually, it. it it breaks the circuit. So you, you hit the switch and you turn the light on, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool stuff. We're learning a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. So what do we say to them before we sign off? Um, comment and share. Yeah. Do all those other things that you do. Uh, we got a day off today, so we're doing stuff. We're gonna have to go get the ham radio book and get on that sucker now. Adios, muchachos.